young ministers like myself whether music or or word whatever i want you to know that the visibility that jesus gave you is not so that you come to a realization that it is down time for my envelope to be fat no i want you to come to the realization that my labor is now bigger than the way it used to be in other words if i used to labor for 12 hours when i used to talk to few people now maybe three days whether in prayers or in study of the word you must have enlarge capacity and this is not so that you come before people and they say oh this one is deep no 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 you will labor mm. after we pray for our fathers we will ask jesus to give us genuine laborers because we have lost some persons to visibility yes we have lost some persons to visibility i see that even christians now give gifts and they put it on facebook it's a sign you no longer read your bible jesus said when you want to do arms when you want to do arms he said do it in secret you give gifts now we see it on facebook you think i'm talking to you yes i'm talking to you you cannot bring the name of jesus to what it is not there is a way that it is done in this kingdom and it it kabbalata man's king hi saints it's a pleasure to have you on board the glory plane i'm your hostess zini glory i don't have much to say by way of an introduction except to say that if you're a minister and you're implicated by this word i pray you hear theo's heart on this matter by the spirit and that you amend your ways before the lord before he shows up for judgment i trust you know i mean on this side of eternity not even on the other side all right let's walk <laughs> Name of Jesus. Amen. Uh, many of us yet do not seem to understand the reason why we are doing what we are doing. If the Lord gives you the privilege to see that which is to come upon the earth and upon the church, you will pray. You will pray. I don't know any other method. Maybe if I, if there was any other method I know that will strengthen us and give us the capacity to undo that which Satan hmm, has in mind. Maybe I would have suggested, but there are only two methods I know. Two. Prayers and the word. That's the only thing I know. My brother left here some moments ago and then he raised a prayer about us praying for our fathers. Mm. We will seek your face. We will seek your face. Oh. We will seek your face. We will seek your face. Oh, we will seek your face. We will seek your face. We will seek your face. When you hear, wait, wait. 
one thing you must understand is that waiting is not sweet yes it is it's never a sweet process to go through but you see if only you can see eternity if only you can see the glory that's ahead of you you will endure anything you will endure anything <laughs> yes you will endure anything the scripture says he that shall endure to the end is endurance is endurance he that shall endure till the end yes it, it, it's, it's going to be a matter of endurance yes mm. some of the situation you, you, you will pray and they will not go it will be a matter of endurance yes yes you will fast over it it won't go it will be a matter of endurance they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. We want to wait a little bit. A little longer. We'll pray the Holy Ghost in a moment before we revisit that prayer about our fathers. Mm. I will wait until my wings, until I'm sure that my wings have grown. And not just grown, they are strong to withstand any storm. Yes. And even when I notice that my wings are grown, I will wait until the day it is time for the storm. Because in that time, I will not be flying out. I will, I will only soar. We want to ask the Lord again. Equip us with strength for the journey ahead. What is at stake is it is is eternal it's not a shoe or a car that's at stake yes it's not even marriage that's at stake it's not your job that's at stake it's not it's not even your good health that's at stake what's at stake is eternal it's your soul we are not at, we are not afraid of the darkness that is coming no no we are not afraid of it In a moment of time, we will ask Jesus for strength. <laughs> because a time comes, even if you desire in your heart to follow the law, the flesh will be weak. Yes. You've read that scriptures. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Yes. A time comes that men will become weary. Even if in their heart they desire to follow Jesus, hmm? the cap, the strength will no longer be there. They don't have oh God. Eat, eat, for the journey is great. Hmm. Eat, oh, for the journey is great. Even if you desire in your heart to follow Jesus, have you not heard many who say, "I want to follow the Lord," but this, this sin is that's. That's little to what is coming. Maybe before to help you pray. The Lord began to tell me a lot of things. Mm. In around last year, towards the end. And it, it I saw the need, I saw the need that men would take root take root go deep down go deep down go deep down go deep down this has nothing to do with preaching no it has nothing to do with standing on on the pulpit mm -mm. that's not mm -mm. Mm -mm. you just go deep down because a wind is coming and the purpose of that wind is that it won't it it wants to toss but men that are rooted, that are rooted from afar, they will be able to discern. They will be able to discern. And so I began to hear the Lord said to me, 
that pastors and owners of ministries will begin to adjust messages just to fit into what they feel is current so that they can have crowd but these are not the days to please men these are the days to please God these are not the days to these are not the days to impress anyone yes these are the days to begin to bring the very counsel of God to the people I saw I saw I saw the high and mighty not caring whether this is a contamination or this is sin what they care about was that their churches were filled up were filled up that was what they all care about the days are coming and if you some of us <laughs> the reason why some of us are the way we are is because we have fathers that will rebuke us and teach us right if your father begins to walk in error hmm, there is a huge there is a huge tendency hmm, that you will also walk in error yes there is a huge tendency that you will also walk in error the days of corruption serious corruption is upon us yes is upon us because men don't want anybody to think they are failing and their idea of a prosperous ministry is crowd no he called us to be faithful he called us to be faithful and he that is faithful in in little things what shall be done to him more will be committed to him maybe i should bring this a little uh, young man young lady there was a point in your life hmm? nobody knew you you were laboring in prayers and you were content with with talking to just two three persons and you were so committed to it you were committed to it you were committed to it suddenly four five you were committed six seven you are committed eight nine ten you were committed you were laboring what matters to you what mattered to you at that point was that jesus alone be seen suddenly you are now on billboard you are now seen on tv and in your wildest mind you don't think it is time to come into rest yeah let me tell you he that is faithful in little labor the reward the compensation for that faithfulness is that we add more labor to him yes that's that's how it works in our kingdom they will add more labor i'm trying to tell you that the why jesus gave you that that visibility is not for fat envelopes mm. it's so that your knee will go down more there is need for you to be wasted more if jesus gives you a territory he didn't give you the gold of that territory he gave he gave you the souls of that territory what he's saying is that cultivate this land labor over it labor over it until i am seen until i am until i become this the only one that is held in that territory this welcome to our generation where people think that it's everybody that has gone viral that went viral because they want to get money no some of us by his message we are going to be spent that is the aim anytime we go out we come back or not the aim is that jesus be exalted young ministers like myself whether music or or word whatever i want you to know that the visibility that jesus gave you 
it's not so that you come to a realization that it is down time for my envelope to be fat no i want you to come to the realization that my labor is down bigger than the way it used to be in other words if i used to labor for 12 hours when i used to talk to few people now maybe three days whether in prayers or in study of the world you must enlarge capacity and this is not so that you come before people and they say oh this one is deep no 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 you will labor mm. after we pray for our fathers we will be ask jesus to give us genuine laborers because we have lost some persons to visibility yes we have lost some persons to visibility i see that even christians now give gifts and they put it on facebook it's a sign you no longer read your bible jesus said when you want to do arms when you want to do arms he said do it in secret you give gifts now we see it on facebook you think i'm talking to you yes i'm talking to you you cannot bring the name of jesus to what it is not There is a way that it is done in this kingdom. And it is Kabbalatamansky. We will stand and watch it. And make sure that that pattern is constructed. Some of us have the responsibility. To make sure that this thing is modeled right and accurately. You do your charity you take pictures and put online simply because somebody said see the worldly people they are doing this where are the pastors we are not the same we are not the same we, i can't come and tell you what and what i am doing my service is not to the public it's to my master and where he sees is in secret that is where he sees in secret have lost we have lost we have lost some vibrant soldiers to visibility we have lost some vibrant soldiers to visibility and we must ask Jesus we must ask Jesus bring them back to us and send in more laborers we need labor laborers yes we need laborers I know you know the scriptures that calls you kings and priests eh? but uh, this king is the one that will lay down his life for his subject this king is the one that mm, this this king that you have uh, is the one that will lay down his life you will spend all that you have and even you will be spent wake up we need laborers 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 people that are willing to be wasted for this cause not minding if i die i die and if i perish i perish what matters is that my master mm, my master his name is jesus his name is jesus we need laborers 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 now we can no longer tell if you are a minister or a model bigger mm. mm. you, you want to go and conquer an industry you're hey, my god i wish i wish i can say a lot of things 
I wish I can say a lot of things. We need, we need laborers. 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 I, I, I was privileged to go and minister with the Reverend Austin in Abraka. And when I got there, my heart, my heart, I wept like a child. Every one of us, now we are committed to online ministry. Our campuses are suffering. Our campuses are dying. We need laborers. Young man, the Lord gave you an assignment. Your belly has become your God. We need laborers. Lord, we ask, we cry, send in laborers. Men who no longer care. Laborers. 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 Who go do go go go? I bet they go go no to manda. I'm go boko skita kaba. Oh oh oh. Hey. Kutoma. Ululululu. Yes. My God. My God. My God. My God. Send laborers. We know we have a lot of preachers. We know we are teachers, apostles, and prophets. Oh, but send in laborers, genuine laborers, laborers. I came by prayer. I will stay in prayer. When to you we leave this world, I will go in prayer. I came by prayer. I will stay in prayer. Mm. When to you we leave this world. When I was younger, Uncle Sam, people don't want to be pastors. When I was younger, people. Being, an, being a servant of God was not something that was enviable when I was young, younger. It wasn't. Now, anybody wants to become a pastor because we have turned into something that is lucrative. When people see us, they no longer see a dead man. They see a man who, oh my God, who is alive in the flesh. Come on, see Atala. When I was younger, there is a group I used to know in our church. They call them prayer warrior. Prayer warrior. You see those people? Let anything be wrong with you. And you come into their midst. And you cry and say, see you. This is what is doing me. They will just tell you, just go home. Fast for three days. I want to tell you that thing. As you are fasting, they will just hold their hands. If they pray, it will happen. But you see now, mm, mm, that ancient pattern must be returned. Yes. Mm, mm. It has to return. It has to return. It has to return. Our heritage. Mm, the potency of the church. I have heard a lot of people say words like, after God, it is the government. It is a lie. It's a lie. After God, on, in heaven, is the church on earth. Because we have lost our place. We now feel that after God is the government. No. We will see the days where the church still rules. Can we first of all begin to ask that Jesus will preserve our fathers? If you have genuine fathers, hmm, for this cause I came, for this cause I was born. <laughs> if you have genuine fathers ask that the Lord will preserve them to the end they have endured this law 
but the Lord give them grace that they will endure to the end mm. give them grace give them grace Pastor John oh the Lord preserve you that the son the the Lord preserve you that the the Lord preserve you Dr. Asana Chimungu the Lord preserve you oh my God oh my God oh my God the Lord preserve you oh my God oh my God die evangelist Solomon Salami the Lord preserve you apostle Gideon Odoma the truth in your mouth will not be contaminated oh Reverend Austin the Lord preserve you the Lord preserve you Lawrence Oyo the Lord preserve you Abarada Kaskianta Amanda Fada Abebe Boruatas Hey Tony Richie the Lord preserve you Abenia Sonen and Etel Abrastai Bara Selemonde If you know their names call them Only by Uzo Chuku, the Lord preserve him. Yes, you will not go out of strength. The Lord preserve you. Our fathers in the Gala land, the Lord preserve them. We use them as a point of contact. The Lord preserve them. The Lord preserve them. The Lord preserve. The Lord preserve. The Lord preserve. The Lord preserve. I abrastica. All the names that we have called, we use them as a point of contact to men of God who are genuine all over the world. The Lord preserve you. Can you pray? Can you pray? Can you pray? I came by prayer. I will say Welcome back. I do have something to say about this social media craze 
young ministers are into these days. The other day, I saw a video on IG about someone giving gifts to people and I scrolled on by because I really couldn't care less. But it kept popping up in my recommendations. Then one day, YouTube suggested the video to me and I decided to watch it. <laughs> it gave cringe from beginning to end because the drama that was inside the video <laughs> was more than a Hollywood production. I couldn't understand why the giver didn't only allow the entire spectacle to be filmed but also be uploaded anywhere <laughs> at all. It started me down the rabbit hole of wondering what exactly the motive was. Was it to garner the praise of men? Was it to ensure that their name and fame was cemented, quote and unquote, in the sands of time? I didn't get it. It really is a head scratcher for me to this day. I wondered whether the giver was aware that it's possible their heavenly reward regarding that particular gift had been scuttled by reason of all the fanfare that surrounded it. Young ministers, we gotta be careful. The standard of the Lord standeth sure and it will never change. There's another trap I'd like to draw our attention to. It's the trap of showcasing yourself instead of Jesus. Again on IG, a particular video was suggested and this video showed someone singing a song and saying they couldn't get it out of their head. It was a Christian song and the owner of the song was tagged and I was curious so I went searching. <laughs> I didn't have to go too far to wonder what the heck was going on. Maybe I'm old school, but I have a problem with a dude acting like Kim K anytime they hold up a selfie camera to film themselves. You should have seen the printing. The person was smacking their lips whilst pursing them, making faces and eyes and all that. Sometimes just before they were about to sing. I couldn't watch the song, of course. It was all so off-putting. Then sometimes, the person would use filters that made me question what the play was. Ogbeni, what's with the kissy lips filter? I left that page convinced that something was up because I couldn't see Jesus. I could only see someone determined to give them because if you don't give it, how will they take it? I understand if you're doing some things for fun or to show people your personality. Nathan Abasi does that often. Mesichingo too. But when I can't tell the difference between you and secular artists, I'm not sure. I want anything, anything at all to do with your song. No matter how deep it is, because I don't want contamination. Jesus said, the words that I speak to you are spirit and life. So I understand that oftentimes when people sing or preach, it's their spirit I'm receiving. Now depending on what kind of spirit or place they were piping from, I don't want to receive any strange impartations. I don't want to expose myself to mixture. I don't want to be opened to darkened counsel see God's exchange with Job for that. So please, oh, ministers, let's mind ourselves, our behavior, and the ministry God has committed to us. It was Paul who said, make full proof of your calling. And for those of us who watch from the sidelines, let's guard our hearts and quit celebrating rubbish, lest the name of the Lord be blasphemed among the heathen. Sometimes I'm not sure we understand the weight, the value God attaches to his name and how he's jealous over the integrity of that name. Go through the scriptures and see how often God punished the Israelites for causing the heathen to blaspheme his name. Do you know why God killed Moses prematurely? 
He said that Moses did not honor him before the people. It was the same for David. God killed his first child by Bathsheba because he said David had caused the enemies of the Lord to blaspheme his name. So as we move in and out among the people of this world, let's ensure that we understand the gravity of the name we represent, the name we are made ambassadors of. If we do, we will ensure that we are not the reason God's name is being blasphemed among the heathen. Look at your neighbor, say intensify. Come make a bind. This fire you think you have now is not enough. Ah, the body. Tell, tell your neighbor, intensify you. Oh. This fire you think you have now is not enough. Ah, yeah. Look at another one, say intensify you. This hunger you think you have now is not enough. Can we intensify? Intensify. You must preserve them, O God. Oh God, oh God. Can you intensify? Er 